this is Retro Marky and here you can see my nice new Commodore 64C uh, which I modded and got the case done by Ami64 who took the C case and resprayed it black for me. I do love my black machines. Got a badge here that I got uh, from a guy in Poland on eBay. He does a lot of uh, new modern reproduction badges. And the best thing is the, well for me anyway, the oscilloscope that I project that I did before I finally wired in and Ami kindly made a 3D printed, I suppose you call it a bezel. So that's all fine and dandy but we're not here for that so much as we're here to go onto the internet. Yes, I said that correctly. We're going to use my Wi-Fi modem adapter there and actually go onto the actual internet. How exciting is that? So what I'm going to do is show you how that works and that way if you're planning on doing this yourself then um, hopefully you can follow along and see how it's done. Um, what we're going to do is uh, go onto the internet have, have a dig around and then I'm going to download a file, a demo or game file and straight to the SD2 IEC and then I'm going to load it and show you that it all works. So you can basically download now a file onto your Commodore 64 directly on the internet without uh, having to mess around with SD cards and things like that. So let's get down to it shall we? But first things first, you know me, we need an advert. And here's an advert reminding us of the early internet. Mark, get set. We're riding on the internet. Cyberspace set free. Hello, virtual reality. Interactive appetite. Searching for a website. A window to the world. Got to get online. Take a spin. Now you're in with the techno set. You're going surfing on the internet. So in my particular case, I'm going to use Easy Flash 3 to install the BBS software. Uh, you could use Easy Flash 1 for that, you could use SD2IC, etc. There's also a way of doing this apparently with the Ultimate 2, um, but I think for that you need some kind of Ethernet connection, and then that connection has to be bounced to your Wi Fi router, and I don't have that. So we're going to do it this way, which is um, probably the most simple as well. So I'll load up PBS software. It only takes just a couple of seconds. Um, I've got a newer version of this CCGMS. This is the 2019 version, I think it's version 9, which seems to work uh, a little bit better than version 5. First thing you want to do is change the protocol here by pressing P to X modem. And then connect to the router. Okay, so we've dialed into what's called the oldnet.com. Now I might have been slightly disingenuous earlier, although we are technically connected to the internet. The sites here are based on the old net, which means it's pulling old HTML data from uh, the old internet itself. So we won't be getting up to date news or anything, but let's have a look what we've got. So Wired, talking about Bill and Ted, June, etc. Let's come back out of that. As you can see, it's pretty quick actually, considering we're running it at 2400 board. Home Automation, <laughs> nice. So got some pages there, I presume that's information about how to set up your PC to control various devices. Yeah. Okay, skip out of that. Go back to here. So this is absolutely amazing, I've got to say. Commodore 64, released in 1983, on the internet in 2020. VC Federation, that sounds a bit dodgy, what's that? Something Russian? Oh no. Oh, this is up to date. 2020 Virtual Hybrid Show. 
VCF West 2020 schedule. Let's have a look at that. So it looks like if people did um, upload or make available uh, current data and enable access this way, um, you could have a modern internet in a sense on this machine. Nothing to stop it. And some of this is, of course. It's kind of confusing. It's it's not the current internet, but it's some of it's also not, you know, it is up to date as well. Retro campus. Oh, it's all in Italian, that's a shame. Oh, it mentions MAME and all sorts there. Shame we can't read that in English. Indie Retro News, that's my cup of tea. Missing Google credentials on server file system. Contact the system administrator. Um, yeah, not sure who that is. Uh, we just need to change the protocol as well for downloading. Uh, so we'll just reconnect uh, that. There we go. What's open online? Oh, that's access to this by the looks of it. So that's some of the options there. I'm not going to go into the games there. Uh, Internet. Here we go. We've got our URL up there and a few basic commands down here. W3C, the World Wide Web Consortium. Uh, issues HTML4 as a W3C recommendation, blah, blah, blah. Where it says image here, we can actually... No, not image, where it says link, we can click on link. Not to be confused with uh, the link from the Nintendo franchise. Mm, what's that about graphics? I like graphics, I like pictures. Mm, don't seem to be much there, or oh, it's stuck, is it? Oh, no, I don't know. Maybe there's nothing there. Anyway, BBS directory, that's kind of handy. That shows us the uh, information to connect to various BBSs, for example, borderline. Uh, normally I have little cards. Where's my hand? Normally I have little cards with this information on. Uh, you need to know things like this to add it to your address book uh, and then to dial in but today we're not going to do that I did that in my previous video and then we've got a chat option for other people on the old net mail is probably like a simple email system I haven't really looked but let's get down to in fact no just quickly pet ski art why not last toggle randomize oh go on then Select your favourite artist. Uh, what's Otha? So I don't know if this was done by a doctor or what, but if you do want to learn about the human body and you're planning to study to be a doctor, then there's your there's your source. Some more Petsky graphics. That's kind of nice. Mm, it's Pac-Man or something. <laughs> yeah, so there's a lot of kind of fun stuff you can do on here. <laughs> ding, 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 ding. That's all I can think of. That's that bit of banjo music they always use in movies to highlight that they are rednecks. Oh, this one's looking kind of interesting. Nice. Uh, how do I exit out of that? There we go. Right, uh, go back. Right, so here's the interesting bit. CSDB, you might know if you're a fan of demos like me, is a internet uh, site that hosts um, pretty much every single demo on the 64 and a bunch of cracks and games and there are forums and all sorts. It really is the 
place to go for anything C64 related. So we're going to go to option K because we're using SD2 IC. We could look at latest releases. Hmm, optional logo. Tell you what I'll do, I think. See if we can find a game. Um, actually, latest editions, what's under there? Should be a game here, I think. Uh, demo, demo, lots of demos. If we go plus, we can go to the next page. There's loads of these things. Chuck Rock, is that a game? I think it probably is. Captain Blood? Oh, are you kidding me? Right, I'm going to download Captain Blood. Straight to the SD2 IEC over down there. Download D64. There's our data. Press any key. And then we press F3. Uh, call that Blood for now. Um, PRG, and here we go. We're actually downloading. Here's the data. A game on the C64 from the internet. Isn't that absolutely amazing? I think it's amazing. So you can see here the blocks are loading. Um, I've never found any bad blocks. The connection always seems very good. Takes a few minutes, not tens of minutes, but some minutes. Obviously, it depends on the file size as well, but. So, I'll speed this up for your convenience using my video editing software. Okay, so it took a while, it was 1,366 blocks downloaded, that probably took about 5 to 10 minutes, so bear that in mind if you're going to do this. Right, press any key, and we're just going to power off, because we've now got the game on our SD card. I'm going to load it with Jiffy DOS to speed things up. Hopefully uh, it will be Jiffy DOS compatible. Occasionally Jiffy DOS causes problems, but we'll take a gamble. So these are some files I downloaded earlier. Uh, where's Captain Blood? What did I call it? Blood? I did call it Blood, and there it is. So as you can see, it's now on our SD card. And here's the moment of truth. making some rather odd noises there, but the... Oh. It's not looking too good. Okay, well it did work, it just didn't work exactly how we would have liked. Uh, let's try without the... No, let's try without Jiffy DOS. Um, that could be... How did I get to that? Oh, it really is one of those days. So I always say that in my videos. That's because making videos is always one of those days. You know, when I was planning this, I thought, ah, oh, this won't take long. 20 minutes? Yeah, right. By the way, talking of my videos, I hope you're enjoying the new videos I'm doing, downloading 64 demos and the like, and uh, some game reviews of all four video game movie crossovers. Let me know if you're enjoying them or not so much. I can kind of tell that probably these kind of videos are the most popular on my channel, but um, you know, variety is always good as well. Blood. Give me blood. I need to have some blood. Don't know why. I'm a little bit cynical. This is not going to work. But the other thing is, um, those files on on the database are not necessarily all perfectly working. Um, not saying that's what's happening here but this is probably the second file I've downloaded that I've had issues with now 
demos seem to be okay in smaller files especially so it might be some issues there or it might just be something I'm missing doing wrong I don't think so but let's see shall we so the disk light's still loading obviously without Jiffy DOS it's quite a bit longer Or has it just crashed? I don't know. Uh, I have to come back to that, I think. I'll tell you what I'm going to do. Just to prove my point that this does work. <laughs> because it's not uh, been proven very well so far. Here's one I prepared earlier. I knew there'd be a Blue Peter moment. I just knew it. Um, Catechus. Great game, this. There we go. So that loaded and that worked. So it's a little bit hit and miss at times, but I have hopefully proven at least to some extent that uh, this does work and we were actually on the modern internet as well as there are some a lot of access to the old internet as well that was a strange sentence so that's pretty much the end of the video and so talking uh, as I was before about future videos and current um, I need to show you this in another video which is my clock for the 8-bit computer project which is that's now completely finished and working and I've still got to get around to doing this Pi Hat, the 1541 emulator. And I'm going to do some more, whether you like it or not, Commodore 64 bad video games and movies, and some more demos because that's what I like doing at the moment. So thank you ever so much for watching. Comment, like, subscribe, and all that good stuff. And I'll see you on the next video. Retro Marky out. Take a spin, now you're in with the techno set You're going surfing on the internet